government at all levels have been challenged to provide the necessary political will to do more through improved infrastructure in schools to reduce the alarming rate of out-of-school children put at about 14 million in the country. This was the submission of residents of Sabo area of Abiyukuta North local government in Ogun State during the distribution of some school materials to encourage more pupils in schools. Facilitated by the special advisor to Governor Dako Abiodu on inter ethnic affairs. While calling on well meaning Algerians to support the effort of government in this regard, the special advisor, however, established the nexus between illiteracy and insecurity, which it says is fueling insecurity across many parts of the country. <laughs> Sabo in Abiyokuta, North local government of Ogun State, is home to Nigerians from the northern part of the country. According to residents, well over 85% of the residents of this area engage in small-scale businesses, menial jobs among others. This informed the prevalence of numbers of out-of-school children in the area. This largely is as a result of inadequate schools, infrastructure and motivation. Every man or every uh, person, any adult man that he knows that he has children, he has to take them to school. Is we are, we are forcing them. If we see a child that roaming about in the street, when it is school time, we will call him. We ask the reason why he didn't go to school. When we hear that, we call his father. Yes, we order him, we challenge him that he must take his, children, his child to school. Because we have a lot of children and then the school is very small for them. We just have one secondary school within the South Axis, which is um, um, uh, Elumor Commercial High School. And that's the only school we have. And of course, if you look at the numbers of the people we have in this environment, the school is somehow small. Apparently concerned about this development, the special advisor to the Ogun State Governor on Inter-Ethnic Affairs embarked on renovation of classrooms, distribution of books and school bags to motivate and encourage out-of-school children to go to school. Uh, let me start from the national data and figures. In Nigeria, currently, we have 13.8 out-of-school children in the country. That is the highest in the world. And whenever you see a statistic, is not is that is not an illusion which means your community is part of it that's one two i will not deny the fact that most of the area community are one of the communities that will house much of those population because northern part of the country is the, is the highest victim of out of school children and we look inward we know there's a whole, a whole lot, lot of influx and by the virtue of a, it's a local economy base that which people are having a very uh, a minor income base we have to acknowledge the fact that the figure is alarming. So it's our responsibility as the leader to look inward to contribute into how to regulate that figure by improving the facility. Because what we do not understand is that if you keep on working on yourself, taking care of your family and children, uh, stop uh, mi not minding the well-being of other people that are outside, they will end up becoming a compounded problem for everybody. Developing the education sector, as it were, requires the impute of all, as government alone cannot do it. From Abiyokuta, Jumoke Adebari, reporting for Kaftan Television News.